All right, we're back for day two of the Homesteaders of America conference. Got the whole family today. Say hi, Audrey. Hi. Say hi, Abby. Hi. Say hi, Natalie. <laughs> All right, so the Homesteaders of America Conference 2019 is in the books. It was an amazing weekend uh, filled with great times with my family, meeting a bunch of new people and reconnecting with old friends. It was an awesome first day. I hope you guys saw the video from that. If not, I'll link it right here. But I put out the video for the first day already and today's video is going to be highlighting our experiences from the second day. The second day was the best day because I got to take my family. Last year they couldn't come along because of the girls getting sick earlier in the week. But this year they came out for the whole day. They were awesome. They got to participate in the really cool kids activities that they had organized this year. Uh, first they started out with raising baby chicks. So they got to see a hatchery kind of teach them how to care for baby chicks and you know get them started. And then they got to do story time with Joel Salatin which you know who wouldn't love that. And then they ended the day with planting seeds. So they actually got to plant a radish seed and it's already sprouted just a few days later. So it was an awesome day for the girls. And then Natalie came along as well and she got to meet a bunch of the people who I've been following on YouTube and meet some of my friends like uh, Life on Beagle Road, Kenny and Courtney, and a bunch of other folks. So it was really cool for her to get to see uh, my online YouTube homesteading friends and just kind of see all the things that I've been excited about over the last couple years as we try to start up this homestead and uh, grow better food for our family. Without further ado, here is our footage from day two of the Homesteaders of America Conference 2019. Got up early and roasted these coffee beans. <laughs>
Are girls excited to learn about chickens? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> chickens lay eggs and then then they sit on the eggs and it takes 21 days. So a hen will sit on an egg for 21 days. And after that, the, the chicks will hatch. Wild hats is chicks. We got brand new baby chicks. Wash your hands. Put your hands out. It's a serious thing, and the question is: Have I honored? Have I honored this being in life enough to uh, to deserve to be able to take the life in the end? That that's the question, and so uh, so we pause to, to appreciate that. Social media like Instagram, Facebook, say YouTube. Uh, this is how people communicate now. People communicate through these platforms, um, and so how else are people going to know what you're doing? Like, you know, by sharing, like say I'm growing food in my garden or I'm raising these chickens and you're taking a picture and you're posting about it. The hard part is making it a story that is attractive in and of itself and not making it too teachy. Because I love to, I love to teach people about the farm and about grass and all this stuff. But for a children's story, you need you need a um, you need a storyline. You need action to move the story forward because most people don't want to just sit and be taught. I had the IBC totes out back. I had a rain illegal in my city, an illegal rainwater system with a, a tube, a pipe that came right out of the water system and went right in the back of the toilet. And all my toilet water was gray water that came from the system. And we're gonna talk about pigs. Not something I would ever thought that I would do in my life, but we raise pigs. So I'm Kaylee and I have a farm. It's called uh, Quail Hollow Honeystead. So we're here with Kenny and Courtney from Life on Beagle Road. How are you guys doing? Good. Yep. Good. It's always awesome. I uh, ran into them last year here at the conference, and my daughter's trying to jump up on the camera. Uh, but yeah, they're here now, and we've kind of gotten to be friends and hung out a little bit last night for some drinks, and it's just always good to see you guys. Have you had fun at the conference? We have. We've had a really great time this year. Um, it's actually been really fun for me to talk to a lot of people that watch our stuff and um, have people ask me about goats. It's been uh, fantastic to watch me, watch Courtney talk to everyone about goats. I mean, don't you love goats too, Kenny? Oh, I do. It's just funny because that's all she's talked about the whole weekend. Everybody has Don, to talk to the goat queen. Don, I hear about it every day. So I'm just like, I made stuff. <laughs> no, it's been fun. It's been great. And uh, I'm like super happy that we're here. Are we excited for next year? Totally. Yes. yes. Next year's week. So it was awesome running into these guys, and yeah, uh, we'll see them again next year at the Homesteaders Conference 2020. Yes, maybe, we will. Maybe we might be seeing uh, him on our farm or your farm. Maybe, and that would be awesome. We'll have yeah. to make that happen. That would be fantastic. So we hope that you enjoyed that footage from day two of the Homesteaders of America Conference. Just really quick, if you're new to our channel, Little Mountain Life, we hope that you'll stick around. Check out our older videos and check out the videos that we are going to be putting out in the near future. We're building a house on top of a little mountain in Linden, Virginia. So it's our little piece of heaven, trying to build our dream home, trying to build up this homestead and provide a better life with better food for our family. So we really hope that you stick around and enjoy the rest of the videos that we'll be putting out in the future. And uh, hopefully we'll meet a bunch of you at the Homesteaders of America Conference 2020, right here in the Warren County Fairgrounds in Front Royal on October 9th and 10th. So until our next video, thanks for checking out our little mountain life.